Tens of thousands of Israelis taking to the streets once again with increased frustration and desperation. Calling for the country's prime minister to sign a ceasefire deal to bring the hostages home immediately and then for him to leave. We want a ceasefire, we want the hostages to come back, we want to live in peace. And it seems like right now the interests of our prime minister and our government doesn't coexist with our interests, the country's interests. The protests wrapped what activists called a week of disruption and took place across the country from Haifa and Caesarea to Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Protesters have been on the streets for months now and seen little change, if any. I'm here to demonstrate and ask my government and all the government in the whole world, please, please do sign the deal, sign the Netanyahu deal. Just do it. Bring them back home to their children, to their parents, to their families. We are all broken and tired and we want to make end to this tragedy. In the evening, scuffles broke out between protesters in Tel Aviv and police. Three people were arrested and more demonstrations are planned. Well, I'm worried about everything. I'm worried about Lebanon. I'm worried about what's going on in the south. I'm worried about what, what is happening in between the borders within Israel. I think we have never ever been in a, in a situation as bad as this one. At the moment, a ceasefire proposal is technically being negotiated. Qatar is reportedly trying to get Hamas to come closer to the latest proposal sent by Israel and endorsed by the US and the UN. But senior Israeli officials are pessimistic, reportedly saying that Hamas is playing for time in hopes that a war breaks out in Israel's north, according to the Israeli newspaper Haaretz. The 120 hostages still held in Gaza are leverage for the terror group and a card Hamas is unlikely to give up easily.